What up, my name is Nick Benavides, and today we are going to talk about the Machine Plus. I'm just going to tell you my opinions, and the good, the bad, the ugly, stuff like that. And yeah, hopefully uh, this explains some things. Let's get right into it. Make sure you subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling me what you think, and like the video if you like it. So let's go. All right, we're here at Native Instruments website. It greets you with Meet Machine Plus, the workflow, the sounds, no computer necessary, requires an outlet. <laughs> That's what they should have said because this thing has no battery in it. Let's just, let's go. All right, we're greeted with a standalone production and performance instrument. Okay, honest opinion on this, it's probably going to be used more as a performance instrument. I do not see this as a standalone production. It, I guess you could use it in, sh mm, I don't know. I see people, a lot of people just hooking this up to their computer because they're going to eventually i don't see anybody making full length songs with this that's just me that's that's just me so anyways let's take let's take a look at it so it looks exactly like the mk3 the, the regular one but the body is different it has a uh, better construction it's metal instead of plastic i really like this color this grayish it's really cool that it looks like they updated the knobs and the well, the faders, I guess. But everything looks like it's in the same spot. It looks doesn't look like anything's different. The touch strips there. You have everything in the same spot as the MK3. Let's go down here. Um, you can see there's an SD card. Uh, you have stuff on the back if there's an image right here. It's awesome because on the back of it, it has USB, two USB ports, so you can plug in other controllers. Like, you probably plug in a Machine Micro or an M32 or an, a, you can plug in a Kai stuff <laughs> because the, you can plug in probably anything. A MIDI controller, charge your phone, do whatever you need to do. The back seems like the same as the MK3. It has the MIDI ins out, the lines, and it probably has the interface, standalone interface because the regular machine has the interface down here it says do it standalone i i doubt that because you still got to plug it in the wall it doesn't take a battery i don't like that i feel like if they wanted to go full standalone they would have they would have made it fully standalone honestly <laughs> have put a battery in there and do everything this is really cool though i am surprised that they got this stuff in it because this stuff takes a lot of space and when you use it, it takes up a lot of cpu if you use multiple instruments and effects so it comes right off the bat nine instruments 35 effects and thousands of sounds on board so these are pretty much the instruments you get there's not all of them but a big one to me that is cool is fm8 and massive those are really cool i hope they have razor too I don't i haven't really looked at this yet but if they have razor that's cool too and you get contact machine um well of course you get machine because you're in machine monarch prism all that stuff that is awesome and you can sample stuff into it you can record guitar you can get a mic and speak and you probably sing into it get vocals effects stuff like that this is what machine is for to be played play your tracks out mostly when i make a song i'll play my what my melody out on machine i'll put it in chord mode and play my chords out it's so fast that's what i love about machine and here we're at the bottom uh pretty much talks about syncing up your sounds you get wi-fi enabled i this was really cool to me you can actually uh when you get the product you can log into your native instruments account and you can download all your expansions from the start and you'll have all those sounds that is really awesome to me because like who wouldn't want that and then you can put in your own samples because there's an sd card we're going to talk about all that back up there and it advertises their expansions yeah so anyways let's get to let's get to some stuff that i want to talk about right here so all right this is cool <laughs> this is really cool it comes with an sd card too uh 64 gigabyte sd card you can put your sounds on it you probably put your projects on it, your machine projects and load up your projects in there it can go up to one terabyte or even more with the usb i bet you can plug in like your external hard drive stuff like that that's really cool to me but 
what I don't understand, okay? Look at this in the corner right here. The right hand corner. Fourteen hundred dollars. One three nine nine and then you tax, of course. That's a lot of money. And under this hood, what it says is it's packed with a quad core processor and four gigabyte dual channel DDR three L RAM. That's last generation. That means more tracks, more sounds, and more effects. Soak your sounds in reverb or leave them dripping with delay as <laughs> as much as you need. That <laughs> sounds funny to me. But anyways, why? Why is this $1,400? I don't understand. The regular machine is like seven, six fifty, dollars something like that. And this is $1,400? They're making Xbox series x's most powerful gaming console ever that's what they're saying i don't know don't quote me on that for five hundred dollars okay and then they have another xbox series s that can not do 4k but it's it's more powerful than this and it can do it and it's three hundred dollars so native instruments where is this extra money going i don't understand it you didn't even put ddr4 in there you're and you yeah four gigs of ram why don't you upgrade it to eight because most of the dolls nowadays you have to use eight gigs of ram for it to actually work they it says required four but come on let's be real we we all make music we know how the struggle is it's just ridiculous. The price point on this. I, who's going to get this? I'm not going to get this. There's no way. I can't pay for that. And then if I pay for this, what am I going to do? I'm not going to use a standalone because I'm going to end up plugging it into my computer to finish my tracks. Because I can't finish my tracks on it. And where it, it's <laughs> where are you going to go? We're kind of still on quarantine I don't, <laughs> this was like the worst time to bring this out. Like, I just saw a video the other day that the cases are going up. So that means people are going to stay in their homes more. And that means you're not going to go anywhere. So you're going to be at your laptop or your, your desktop, wherever you make music. I guess if you're that one guy who likes to make music in his living room and then produce in his bedroom, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what people do. People buy. I don't know. That's not me. But if it was me, I would just buy. If I had the money, I don't even have money for that. For the regular MK3 machine. I would just buy that. Hook it up to my computer. Because if I had this, if somebody gave this to me, it would still be plugged into my computer. And I'd probably rarely use it standalone. It's not even standalone. You still got to use it into a plug. But anyways... I just, I just don't see where this extra money is going. <laughs> like, $1,400, it could be 800 It could be less than 1000 So, I don't know why people... I don't know why they think we're dumb. Machine... I want to see... I don't know. Like, oh man, it just... It frustrates me. Frustrated. I feel like we're taking advantage of. Honestly. It just... It doesn't, I, it, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. But if you know all the price to everything that goes into this, and if the, if that's the price, I don't know. Maybe they're trying to get all of their money back. Because that's all, if you buy an MK3, they're making all their money back on it when you buy this. So are they just saying, oh, it's standalone, so we can bump up the price as much as we want? Like, I think they're trying to get the return 100% honestly but yeah that's gonna be it <laughs> sorry about the rant thanks for watching the video if you liked the video give me a thumbs up uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to and comment down below tell me what you think of this is it just junk that they want to get money out of us or are you really going to use it how it's intended to be used but anyways yeah I'll catch you guys later uh, more vlog videos and studio videos coming up real soon um see ya peace bye